Well, good evening to you. Started out a little cool and cloudy at times this morning, but it turned out to be a really nice afternoon. Nice and warm, especially over the western counties. Although eastern counties have been catching up as well. We've got a partly cloudy to clear sky throughout the area this afternoon. Nice and clear up north at Seneca from our Spring Creek Golf Course Seneca Cam. Mostly sunny and 50 degrees right now in Topeka. Wind out of the northwest at 8 miles per hour. Most of the western counties were up above 50 degrees. Some of the eastern areas have not yet reached that. Holton at 48, Lawrence at 48. But it's 52 Burlington and a pair of double nickels at both Junction City as well as in Manhattan right now. The winds are out of the northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour over most of the area. That light northwest wind, the sunshine, the milder temperature is really a nice, enjoyable Friday, but things are going to be changing as we head into the day tomorrow. We'll start out in the upper 20s, a partly cloudy sky, just a few clouds drifting overhead, northwesterly breezes, but notice they change to a northeast direction may clear out for a while as that happens. We climb to only 34 and then we start falling through the afternoon back down into the mid 20s as a cold wind blows through the area through the daytime tomorrow. Look at the wind chills in the morning, lower 30s. By the time we're into midday, we're starting to see single digits and teens as the temperatures begin that fall and the winds strengthen. We keep getting colder, 530. Rather than warming up, we're cooling down. Single digits and teens for wind chills and then it gets even colder as many areas will have sub-zero wind chills as we head into Sunday morning and cold all through the day. This is lunchtime on Sunday. It'll feel near zero and only single digits for the daytime. So very cold second half of the weekend especially, but through the day tomorrow. Skies have been partly cloudy today. We're tracking a system that's up over southwestern Canada. We talked about these coming off the Pacific and one starting to round around now near Edmonton, Alberta. That's our Sunday snow chances. It'll be dropping southward. It's not going to affect us tomorrow other than the cold air will start coming in tomorrow and set the stage. Maybe a few clouds as the front comes in, but otherwise sunny and very chilly for Saturday. Here comes the cloud cover. We head into Sunday morning and some light snow tries to develop, but a better round of this happens more toward the middle of the day, 11 a.m. to noon, areas of light to maybe some moderate snow, mostly eastern half of the area, and that'll push on through during the afternoon. A few other models bring it in a little afternoon and linger for about four or five hours, so it's going to be a, a small duration of snow, and with that, not a lot of accumulation, but will be cleared out by the late evening and early nighttime. Here's a snowfall forecast for you. Not much trace amounts west. As far as accumulating snow, a dusting to an inch from generally east of Manhattan, Marysville, Topeka to Ottawa, maybe Lawrence as well, and then one to two inches. That could include areas from about Seneca to Hiawatha to Atchison and Kansas City. So that's what we're looking at, and that's on Sunday during the day. Your weekend forecast again, 34 and breezy for Saturday, light snow and only 19 for a high on Sunday. We'll see mid 30s on Monday, maybe another chance for some snow showers on Wednesday, but really it's just a cold week ahead of us, finally getting back to about 40 degrees by next Friday. So bundle up this weekend and anticipate at least daytime snow, light snow primarily as we head into the day on Sunday. There's a look at a bridge in Dwight decorated for the Valentine's holiday from Amy Moore. Beautiful clouds from Jansen Leach in Topeka today, as well as from Elaine Toland and Tecumseh. And that's just as those changes were kind of underway, we cleared out, warmed up today. But as soon as we changed in the sense of going up, we went right back down into the cold this weekend. At least for the early part of Valentine's Day, looks to be fine. It looks to be all right. It'll be windy and cold tomorrow, but uh, the big chance for snow will be on Sunday. Glass half full. Yeah. Thanks, Matt.